Hello everyone, we're back again with another Dragon Quest XI. Last time uh, we actually did make it to Arborea. We actually started off with a bunch of, well I won't say a bunch, just three other uh, side quests uh, before we finally ventured and found our way to Arborea and met up with Serena. But turns out Veronica is missing, so today we're going to continue the story and kind of go from there. So, I did go back to the casino a little bit off, uh, off stream last time, and I uh, ended up earning quite a few tokens here, and I'm going to show a little bit how that one's done at least. So, the Octagonia Casino actually does have a, um, a roulette table, and you will earn significantly more coins from here that I found. At this point I think I have enough to get everything I want. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of how I was using it. I ended up using the poker table for a while to get up to like about 80,000. And then it allowed me to do this other strategy which I had done in Dragon Quest uh, Journey of the Cursed King as well. But basically I can just pull up one, one third of the table and uh, this will actually generally speaking give a profit if if you can manage to win it, so we'll see if we can win any here, just as an example. And hey, it looks like we got pretty lucky here. But that'll easily pay for itself, and you get multiple attempts. And since since you're using up like a third of the table, uh, you know you have a third of a chance of winning and basically breaking out even. And because it counts up everything around it as well, you get a bunch of extra multipliers. <laughs> I actually did manage to get one jackpot and earned 1.1 mil basically in one one round. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that strategy, and I wanted to at least show that before I go buying some extra gear here. Because we are going to buy quite a bit of it. But... Hopefully that strategy will help out in the future if you manage to get that far. I was just maxing out each individual one because I had enough for it. So we have like 4 million tokens to spend. So I'm going to get this whip. And we are going to give it to Silvando. It's, it's significant damage increase. We might change some of the skills up here. Um, let's see what this hat does. Chunks of MP one MP restore regularly when moving through the world as part of the main battle party. Let's see. Well, I we know Rab at least needs this. So we are going to give him one once I find him. He was significantly lacking defenses last time. We will buy a shimmering dress for Serena as well. Maybe we will hold off on these hats. Because they're not doing too bad there. I don't know what fireball is for. This obviously doesn't really do much. I think it's just purely appearance. We will get one of these knives though for for Eric. Yeah, we still have quite a bit here. I also bought these already. Honestly, uh, this one, the, this recipe book actually gave us access to an ethereal shield recipe. And the cheat sheet did some strange stuff on um, these slot machines here. I didn't, I don't quite understand the slot machines or how to even benefit from them, but... Actually, what we will do is we will buy some Sage's Elixirs while we're here. Let's see. Oops. Don't want that. How many would we like? Okay, let's let's buy like five. Um Rab seems to be a good idea for having Sage's Lexer since he can hand off other stuff. But I think that's all we're gonna get from here. So I'm also going to go back to uh, Puerto Valor's casino and buy some of the gear there. I know they have uh, some other 
think armor and maybe a helmet. We're just gonna basically deck ourselves out at this point. <laughs> to some extent. I had held off doing uh, quite a few armor upgrades up to this point. Except for my main character, he seems to be fine through most things. Except for like last time on that dragon when uh when he, everyone got stunned, and it went pretty badly. We're gonna get a liquid metal helm. Looks like we could buy up to four of these, really. Uh, let's get rid of these herbs. We're probably not gonna use those much. Uh, metal slime sword. Yeah, we're definitely gonna buy one for Hendrix. So the question is, does this other helm, it does a lot of things, honestly. It only makes sense to probably buy another three at least. We will start with giving one to Hendrik. <laughs> he had some other junk helmet. Let's see, I don't know what her silver tiara does right now, so we may hold off on that. Which is kind of the same thing with this Corsair cap. This thing does so much. Like, maybe that's enough for now. A platinum power sword is technically more damage than what both of them have right now, and more than the uh, metal slime swords. I'm not sure. It might be a two-handed weapon though, so we're probably not going to use that. I think that's the only reason it's it's higher right now. But that's probably a good starting point. So, like I said, that was kind of all done uh, kind of off-stream. Didn't want to waste time doing those. While we're here, let's, let's check out the... Uh, Oh, what is it? The Metal Slime book. Oh, I guess we can we can only do this at the other guy. So what we will do? Oops, it's under magic. Don't think I actually been to that place again. Oh, nope, there it is. I think this is the one for the med mini metals. So I don't know the last time I ac actually turned these in. Who knows what rewards could could be here? I have quite a few quests too, but we'll probably do those later in, in the game, honestly. Wow, that's it? Just the one? Well, that's that. So, it is definitely time to move on. So we're going to go back to Arborea. Let's see. Where did he say we need to go? North of the village? Well, since we did just buy all that stuff, we should probably save before we continue on.
Oh, apparently time of day is changing right now. So it's gonna slow us down here. Don't think we can go down there. Hopefully this is the one they're expecting us to go to. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. When we were children, Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Oh. <gasps> there she is. There she is. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones. You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. Uh oh. Is she not able to wake up? Veronica? That could be bad. Hmm? <sighs> Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Looks pretty ominous in there already. It's all red and death looking. Veronica, you gave your life to save us. Poor Veronica. No. final moments, you were thinking of your friends. No! Oh, Veronica. <laughs> Why must the good die young? Let her death be in vain. Where she led, 
I must follow. I have to tell everyone. I have to tell mother and father. Honestly, say I wasn't expecting to uh, have a member of the party die like that. <laughs> I expect she'll be back somehow, I would think. And then we have memorial service. O oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life, today we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. Thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the luminary. She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. My little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter. How could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief. But the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Well, I was not expecting to lose Veronica like that still, so. So now we go to the cathedral to talk to him. See what he has to say. Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? For some days. Before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, honored luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I had been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings. A beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And 
Perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. Well then, at least we're going to find our flying contraption of some kind. So, like you said, I guess we're going to the inn here. We'll rest and uh, go from there. It's a love song from the Age of Heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... Fall at the same time, too. Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <laughs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, Promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. If only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow when it came to talking or walking or learning magic. I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path, alone. <laughs> I hate to ask. But would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother. But I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life for her sake. No more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye.
What in the world? I feel different. <gasps> she has magic. Oh wow, Serena can now use all of Veronica's spells and abilities. Dang. That changes things significantly, I'd say. I don't know. So I need to go to equipment, don't I? Really, all of them should have some kind of equipment on. Not sure why that one does so much. Two really. I think that uh, it's pretty much an easy win here. What's Vanguard do? He has a whip now. She can use some other spells and magics. That's gonna be awesome. Kinda sucks that Veronica had to die for that one though. Oh, she was apparently here the whole time watching. And it's dawn of a new day. Good morning! Or should I say good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of a mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. Okay. Well, time to save after doing all that. That's quite the uh, story going on. Uh, it's not this. Are you talking about this part? Hidden up here. Like target or something, maybe. Oh, hey, look, there's the gigantic evil cathedral. Ah, there you are. So glad you could finally join us. Idrisil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is 
is the Calamus flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. I must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? Suddenly we know how to play a flute? Is that what's gonna happen here? The mark! It's glowing! What? <laughs> Weird fishing pole? What the? A fishing rod? <laughs> I fear it is I who am seeing visions. You got a bite! Oh, go on, darling! Reel it in! Things gigantic. Is that the wind fish? A flying fish? No, that's a whale. So it was as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Okay. Go, Luminary, and seek out the floating island. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. <laughs> Fake flute noises now. Control the wind fish now. Okay. See, there's that stuff over there. What is this? Land here? Uh, sure. I don't know what this is. But it's time to start exploring now. The lost land? There's only no music either. Hidden stuff. 
stuff. No hidden stuff. The Tower of Lost Time. I feel like we're not supposed to be here yet. Hmm. Let's let's go explore around a little bit more because this might be something fairly important. I cannot skip this, unfortunately. So we we'll be back, I'm sure. several places around. Let's start up in this area. Whoa. I can speed up. There's the gold uh, city, Sniffleheim. Let's see where this actually puts us. Okay, so where are we in Sniffleheim? Uh, apparently it just needs a key. Uh, that looks really big. So let's poke it with a stick. I don't think his power has really changed, but it'll probably be everyone else's that has. I don't think any of his spells would have changed from what I like, changed with his gear. Let's just try attacking and see what kind of damage he does. 60 damage attack? That's not bad. That's what his 4 attacks do. Okay, he can do some damage now. So she does have spells now, so she can do pretty much all the damage spells now. She can also use the buff up for attack. Accelerate, bounce, lower. She can do basically everything that like a support needs, so and then some. So that's good to see. I don't even know what to use on this one, honestly. Uh, this one. Wow, that was a waste. He's gonna attack for more with his weapon now. Has like, yeah, boom. Okay, that doesn't do much. Uh, I do think we need to change some of his skills up. Imperial attire. Empress robes? Okay. Uh, there we go. I still don't have the key to get into this. Okay, well, um, can I just zoom back to my fly thing? <laughs> I don't even know what to call it right now, other than like windfish. Discipline. Can I like call? 
call it down or anything. This will allow us to move a little bit quicker here. Unfortunately, there's no way to skip that animation each time, so. Well, let's see what is over here. Champ Savage Whale Way Station. It looks like uh, we definitely need to do this when we have the key. But there was a recipe at the last one, so maybe it's worthwhile coming here and then coming back. I feel like I'm missing a chest already. We'll take another look after we look over here. Look, rabbits. Nothing over in this corner, is there? Okay, let's go back to that first one. This little blue guy up there. Well, let's, let's look down here again. Maybe there's a chest that we're missing. when we have whatever key that is. Um, just go back to Luminary's Landing, see if it goes any quicker there. I have to go all the way back around still. So let's go see what that is, the uh, time thing. Don't remember which one it was now, unfortunately. Is it that far away? I don't think it's this way. We can't go into this. <laughs> yeah, let's check out the time thing. That sounds interesting. The lost land. that for. I'm sure it's something crafting related. Uh, the heck? They're everywhere. They're like ants. Why are they all going into this thing? What's back here? Look like a chest. 
quiet in this place. Goody godly gear. I have no idea what those items were. Guess we need to go inside and see. Doors tightly shut doesn't appear to have a keyhole, but there is a curiously shaped indentation in its center. Okay, so I guess we can't go back here yet. <laughs> so, equipment, no, items, important items, the flute. Okay, so I guess we are going to still keep exploring around in the skies. Okay, so we need to, I guess, let's head back up that way. Oh, this place is in the sky, that's weird. Smiley face. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here too. Is that a temple of some sort? Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Of course. Just location is question mark. No, we're not leaving yet. Uh, we're definitely going to walk around the edges and see what this place has to offer. anything in particular so I guess we're going inside we can see you you know come out from behind there <laughs> huh? no, what? weird mr. popo is it behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher. This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But the Zack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. Only me. That's awful. Mordigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns within, has burned since time began. Robin Temple of Dawn, here, was cleaning. Attack came, was protected by guiding light. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. Oh, we're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? Hmm, not now. It's 
Ravenclaw's weapon cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help, but I'm only a child. Know little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Not worry. And bye. And watcher. Story of watchers not over. You beat Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Dead ones get new life. My brothers. My sisters. All begins again. Wait, you know who he is? Mm. I'm gonna call him Mr. Popo. Whoa, I was not expecting a giant flaming orb. Story took a weird turn here. Oh, it's beautiful and so holy. I feel pure just looking at it. It's going to touch it. Wait, the mark. Just get squished down into that little thing? We acquired the guiding light. Hmm? Oh, look! I sense something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil, I think you should take a closer look, don't you? I have a feeling they have something rather important to show us. Well, we are going to work backwards here. saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... <gasps> uh, aye, I do. And I have a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat it, right? Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? Okay. Let's see what the next one has. Did you see the size of that hammer? Was it just me, or 
Did it seem special somehow? It was no weapon, that much is certain. A forging hammer, if I am not mistaken. But what were they forging? I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were, at least, don't we? Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. So they're just going to give us clues to each of these areas. Let's see what the last one has to show. what we saw correctly they found some ore and a hammer then went up a mountain and forged a sword <gasps> okay Wait, of course. the sword of light indeed they would not have gone into battle with the dark one unarmed yes that's the power we need that's how we'll drive the darkness from the world but mortigan took it right unless are these visions trying to say we need to... Yeah. Make a new one? That must be it. We need to make our own sword of light, just like the old heroes did. <laughs> All right. We've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. Aye. It looked like they found that ore and another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Golopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Uh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. All right, let's go to work. <clears throat> Well then, sounds like there is quite a few places to, to go now. Should've came here first. Whatever this guiding light thingy is. Perhaps. <laughs> well, it can't hurt to go into a look now, can it? Come on, you lot. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. 
to me. Tales from Grandfather may help. Good luck. I can now travel to Hodo and Galopolis. Sweet. This is the Temple of Dawn officially. I don't know where we're going next. That thingy. I can't quite reach it. It's not. Oh, okay. I can go up here. But that didn't do anything. I can't go up anymore now. <laughs> Come on, take two. Yeah. Nope. This little oasis over here. Galopolis. What's this one? Hoto. You can see quite a bit of stuff from up here. A uh, different Hoto. Um, Temple of Time, and then there's another floaty island. Curious as to what the giant red rock is, though, honestly. Mangle Grove. When the mangle grove was, honestly. We are going to go down here. No, there's no place to save here either. So we are going to come back to these when we actually have the key. Go back to let's say Arborea. That's a good place. But I think we will call it here. Uh, that was quite a bit of story going on that we had to to go through. Learned quite a bit, and I think we know where we're going to be heading next. We're going to be looking for. Well, some ore, uh, the Battlegrounds Island, and uh, I'm not sure what, I guess this hammer of some kind. And we're going to try to create the Sword of Light. But I think, that, like I said, that's it for today. Hopefully you'll join me next time. Until then, have a good day. Bye.